at my destination in the elevator now, trying to read the rules here. Don't bring shady friends to the hostel. No anti-social behavior. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the Philippines. Yeah, ah, 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 ah. so Ling Ling arrived and I got into the same room where some of the other bloggers are gonna stay as well. I think some of them are already here and some are gonna come later. My friend's gonna come later. I don't know if this lightning is, light, lighting is very good. Um, I'm in this really dark room. Um, so anyway, I'm in this uh, hostel called Pink. Uh, Manila and I found it on Hustle World like Hustle World is so convenient when you want to do go for any hostels because you can read all the reviews and you pay a small deposit and then you know that your booking go is gonna go through um, I usually use booking.com I used that yesterday it was oh my god it was so lucky because you know 6 p.m. I realized I don't have a flight ticket so I bought a new one and then I had to stay over in Guangzhou for like seven hours now like oh my god i need somewhere to just sleep a few hours so i basically just access what's the word i basically just accessed uh booking.com immediately and wrote guangzhou airport and then it came up with the best deal and i was like these websites are really really helping me um so i'm just gonna sit, put a link below uh, for you guys, if you ever need a place to stay, choose one of those, uh, Hostel World or Booking.com. I really like Booking.com because you can cancel without a fee uh, and you don't pay, usually don't pay in advance, not in China anyway, because uh, everything is cash when you arrive, so you don't pay anything. Uh, you can always cancel, which is like amazing. Um, anyway, now it's noon and uh, right now I just feel like chilling a little bit, like I'm so bummed out because I only slept like three or four hours. Uh, the plane, the flight here was really fine as well, like there were literally not a single person in the plane so I could lay down but it was only two hours so it wasn't enough time to sleep or anything. Um, yeah, right now I'm just dealing with like two options, should I take a shower and stay in bed for a little while and wait for somebody else to come, like my friend is gonna arrive around four and nobody else is here, or should I go and explore, I probably should explore because that's what travelers do, right? Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, the weather is really crap outside because it's still rain season. I should probably get an umbrella. I didn't bring mine because I thought that it would only be sunny. So I bought a hat instead of, which is not going to help me at all. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's a little update here from the Philippines, Manila. Yes. Yeah, and I just forgot to give you guys a little tour. This is my bed, and she was like, the lady was like, oh, sorry, you're going to sleep in an upper bed. Like, they always know that we really like the lower beds. But then I was like... Uh, well, in China, I'm literally sleeping in the ceiling, <laughs> basically in the ceiling. So this one is actually really low for me, which is amazing. You can see here, yeah, it's really low. Like usually I can't even look into my bed because of this. I actually really like the height of this one. Uh, tall Scandinavians, there we go. Uh, we got a fan here. The air condition is only on during night time. And I think we're eight people here. Two, four, six, eight. Yes, and we got private bathroom, which is really nice. And yes, of course, it's all pink because it's Pink Manila Hostel. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just uh, had a chit chat with the girl in the reception and she was like super nice. I think she was from America. Uh, she's probably one of those people volunteering here. Uh, I did that in Malaysia as well in a hostel and it's so much fun. Like it's a really, really nice experience. Like if you ever got, if you guys ever had the chance to do that, uh, if you don't want to couch surf, like couch surfing is really cool as well, but if you don't want to couch surf, you want to do something, uh, go and check out, like, there was this website called Workaway. I uh, I can put the link below as well. Uh, Workaway, where I just logged in and uh, I paid a small fee to be a part of the website and then I could search all the jobs I wanted. So it's basically volunteer jobs, but then you have accommodation and food for free. And it's just the experience. Like, it's so much fun. I'm definitely going to do that another time again. Um, but we'll see about that later uh yeah i should take a shower now and i should charge my battery because it's complaining and then i will log on to the internet and i'll check out what is nearby here so we could go and sightsee a little bit and i should probably also get some food because well we had a really nice you saw the breakfast in the flight in the in the flight plane i never know plane flight is one american the other one english or why are there two plane flight i don't know or <clears throat> whatever <laughs> um yeah but i should probably eat something at some point so we'll see if there's a market somewhere it could be fun to go and explore a little bit yay oh yeah guys did i tell you that the hostel has a pool 
nice. And this is a view. Not the best weather, but it's okay, I think. It's very comfortable right now. So I'll go downstairs, fix some things, and then we can go out and have a look. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very colorful here. So I just had a shower now, and I'm ready to explore Manila. First, we need some food, and then we're ready. So you can either take a normal taxi or the funny jeep and then they have some funny uh, motorbikes as well with a, a little wagon on the side. I don't know what that's about but interesting place. So I just got some money and now I'm trying to figure out where I should go and have some food. Just received some of the Filipino money here and I gotta say, you know, sorry China, I'm not trying to offend you, but this dude, he looks a little nicer than Mao, I think. <laughs> On the mountain, mm -hmm. and so many nice colors, very colorful. Oh, we got a couple here as well. Hmm. Hmm. Who could that be? Probably the president or something. I don't know. I think this is another cab thing. I just saw a guy and a lot of girls uh, biking away. And uh, you can buy some fruit on the street. And I'm just standing here waiting for the rain to stop. I'm not really sure if it's actually raining. problem to be able to walk here because uh, they're driving and swiping the road people are yelling and biking and running and everything yeah but who doesn't need a Christmas tree, right? Or other stuff for Christmas. I think this is the so-called shopping street. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Everyone is literally waving at me all the time. I don't know why, they're just so nice. What's up with the Christmas theme? Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> it's way too early for Christmas. <laughs> And 
Bright Zero finally came to Asia. In Denmark, in McDonald's, you can uh, have like Diet Coke and Sprite Zero and Fanta Zero and maybe one with actual sugar in it, but apart from that, everything is light. So it's really nice to see this one is back. And I got a very simple dinner because I'm so exhausted right now. It's a mess outside. The traffic is insane and there are beggars. The children begging, they see me all the time and everyone is like saying hello and it's very nice but it's just a little too much right now so because I only slept three hours right so I'm just gonna sit in this very well air conditioned uh, little super mall, uh, super, uh, supermarket and eat my bacon carbonara. Okay guys, so I finally got back to the hostel. Oh my god, I have been lost for so many hours in the streets of Manila. Um, but in the end, I met a really nice dude um, in a small uh, shop where I was having some food, like just like 7-Eleven, just another brand. And uh, he helped me to the station. I was like, thank you so much. And I took the train back and I arrived here and I was here for two minutes on my own. And then another girl came in and she's also a part of the TBEX conference. She also knew the people I know. And it was just so nice to talk to her. She seems like a really, really nice girl. So I think it's gonna be very interesting tomorrow. Um, not much more is gonna happen today. I'm so exhausted right now. So I'm basically just gonna go down, get my computer, fix a few things online, and then go to bed, really. <laughs> Um, but before I'm leaving you, I just want to say a few things about Manila. Um, my first, um, what is that called? <coughs> my first experience here. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan. Sorry if anyone's from Manila. Uh, I'm not a fan. Uh, the air here is so polluted. And I know you guys are thinking, what the fuck is she talking about? Like, she is staying in Beijing. That's like the most polluted place, blah, 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 blah. Well, the thing is, I don't have a problem in Beijing. And I don't feel the pollution. But here, it's just in my throat all the time. Like, instead of having buses here, they have something they call a jippy. You saw it in the, this video. Like, I vlogged it a lot. Um, and the gas and um, the smug everything coming out from that thing oh gosh I was just like coughing all the way around this place um, then also Manila right now is the rain season so it's really ugly weather that doesn't make it better <laughs> are having a party in the Korean restaurant. <laughs> New York this way, airport the other way. So I just met a bunch of new blogger friends and we chose to go to this restaurant and I'm just filming while everyone else are filming and taking pictures and talking to their phones as well. <laughs> That's uh, blogger life. <laughs> 